Hi, everybody. Welcome to Cox Connections. Brad Grunmeyer, Director of Public and Government Affairs for Cox, Louisiana. Thank you so much for tuning into our show. In this segment, we're going to be talking about Earth Day, which is coming up on Sunday, April the 22nd. And the New Orleans Earth Day Festival and Green Business Expo will be taking place on that day. Here to talk about that and the great work they're doing at the Louisiana Bucket Brigade, happy to be joined by Ms. Ann Rolfes, who is the uh, founding director, and joining her, Ms. Liz Shepard, who is with uh, Life City as the S sustainability officer. Welcome to both of you. Thank you, Liz. Thank, Thank you, you Ann, for coming by. Well, the Earth Day is here again, um, and, and we were just talking a little bit before, always celebrated on April 22nd. Uh, so you've got a great festival and expo taking place, the fourth annual such, but let's back up a little bit. Tell me a little bit about the Louisiana Bucket Brigade and how did this begin? We were talking that kind of started in 2000 idea. You had that idea. Uh, tell me about its humble beginnings and where you've taken it to today. Well, I think most people in Louisiana are aware that we've got a lot of petrochemical plants in this state. If you go along I-10 or along the Mississippi River, it, it's impossible to miss. So the oil industry is really active here. And on the one hand, uh, they, they add some economic benefit. But on the other, there certainly is a, is a high cost, which mm. is the pollution. And so the Bucket Brigade uh, was founded to address that pollution, to work for solutions, and to acknowledge the fact that when we solve our pollution problems, uh, it's actually good for the economy because we have to hire more workers, we have to buy more equipment. and so. Uh, celebrating Earth Day is really an extension of our work. And it seems like, you know, the Bucket Brigade, very grassroots um, in, in its direction and, and kind of getting into the communities or getting into where you can make the biggest impact. Yeah, the heart of what, of what we do is to work with people who are right next door to the pollution. Right. And the advantage with Earth Day is that we have the chance with a festival to draw more people in because certainly around New Orleans, people are doing a lot to try to preserve this place that we love. And so we're pairing individual and organizational action with really a call to industry to say, we're all making an effort and now we'd like you to do your part. Awesome, and Liz, uh, thank you for coming. Your work with Life City, quickly tell us what that's about. Sure, Life City is a membership-based organization that supports the development of sustainable businesses in New Orleans and we help connect conscious consumers and donors and investors to these companies who are trying to make a social and environmental impact in our community. And my favorite part about it comes from my friend Tim Williamson at the Idea Village. What a great guy and and the great work that they're doing there is Without just fantastic. I love it with all this, these young entrepreneurs and these young professionals, I know they hate that, but it's true, uh, who've decided to make New Orleans their home or really make an impact in changing in, in New Orleans in so many different ways. Uh, thank you for your involvement with the Earth Day Festival. Tell me about what your job is in your sure. relationship to this expo. So well, as Anne said, Earth Day is an opportunity for us to celebrate our natural resources, our finite, precious resources. And um, the way we celebrate Earth Day you know, is no longer being celebrated and people who want to care about environmental responsibility are no longer just environmentalists. Businesses, consumers, policy makers are all concerned about how we can uh, protect our environmental resources. And the way we also collaborate for that environmental responsibility is also changing. And therefore, the way we, we celebrate Earth Day is kind of changing as well. And so normally, we'll have you know, nonprofits on one area of the Earth Day Festival and maybe right. for profits on another. This year, we're going to have um, a special theme. So we're going to have a theme on food. How do we eat healthy food in the city? How do nonprofits, for profits, and our government work together to make that possible? Sure, and these urban gardens are popping up, uh, really changing the dichotomy or the, the, that people need to go, nothing with the grocery store, but you can do it in your own backyard. And I think we're learning that. Uh, just looking at things a little bit differently. Uh, and, and then uniquely enough, we, you know, we, as is Earth Day, um, we all know obviously what we've been through, whether it's Katrina or, the, or, or um, the, you know, the oil spill, we are very, very much um, fragile and sensitive to what's taking place. So Earth Day is a great way of reminding us of what we need to appreciate and what we need to protect. Yeah, that's right. And the good news is that you can you can observe it and also have a good time. Right. So we've got music with Cyril Neville and the yeah. Stooges Brass Band and you know, bring your kids because there is a full day of activities. Uh, there's an art installation happening. Uh, there's really good food. There's La Divina. Um, there's Woody's Fish Tacos. There's uh, recycled bikes and Nola Teas will be there. So there's, there's really a lot to do on that day um, while you really learn about what's happening in the city and add your own perspective. And you've got a lot of booths and information that's out there. What a, what a great place to have it. It's right there on beautiful Bayou St. John right off of Orleans Avenue and Jefferson Davis Parkway. So it's just a great place 
Here's uh, pictures from last year. Just a ton, ton of people out there. Great place. Bring your blankets. You know, set yourself up because you, with the entertainment that you have, Cyril Neville is going to be great. Would you say Flow Tribe? Yeah, um, the Stooges Brass yep. Band. Uh, there's going to be Chega Dao, which is a Brazilian band. Yep. And then uh, early in the day, we have uh, a, a DJ who plays world music, Manga Hosa. So, you know, you can come early, get the best spot. And, and stay all day. And it's going to be great, everybody, again, 9 to nine a.m. to 7.30 p.m. Uh, at beautiful Bayou St. John, a wonderful, wonderful location, I guess I would say, for something like this. Again, the 2012 Earth Day Festival and Green Business Expo, Sunday, April 22nd, Earth Day, Bayou St. John on Orleans Avenue, 9 to 7.30 p.m., with headline by, uh, headlining by uh, Cyril Neville. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, they have their website, labucketbrigade.org, for more information. Or you can go to nolaearthdayfest.wordpress.com for more information. And uh, the nice part about it for, for yourself, Liz, is the Having the Green Business Expo led by uh, Life City. Again, you have a chance for people to go educate themselves. Because there, we were just talking a little bit about solar power and ways that people can get, invive, get involved and be a little bit more uh, environmentally conscious, but also save themselves some money in their wallet. Absolutely. Um, green is good for business. Right. And I think people are learning that. I think green was, you know, oh, it's just over here in the corner, but now it's finding its way. We were just talking about light bulbs, and we are talking about way people can be more efficient with their homes, and, and a lot of great nonprofits that, that are in our community that do that. But uh, again, thanks to the work that you guys do and at your organization and, and the partnership that you have with Liz, more of this is coming out of New Orleans, and New Orleans is seen as a resource now as compared to maybe other major cities, yeah? Absolutely, and if New Orleans can become a leader in sustainability after wow. all we've gone through, any city can. Yes, absolutely. And you, you've seen that, you sense that as well? Yeah, and, and the Earth Day Festival is a chance for people to get a sense of that without having to spend you know, several weeks trying to do some research. Just come on Sunday the 22nd and you can see a lot of the businesses and figure out you know, how, how might I install solar panels or how can I get water at my house that's both clear, clean but also uh, doesn't abuse the environment. So you know, just come and you can get the whole roster of, of possibilities. That's awesome. You know, I, we were just talking about my little ones at home how do you how important it is to uh, to get to young people at a very young age you know at my house um, we recycle we, we have a list of what they do and they look in the back and they uh, you know put it in their little bags and we wrap it up and then we bring it to um, uh, the recycling bins every Saturday but you know uh, and, and it's nice because my kids have started to do projects about that so they ask in class and they they brag about what we do because I'm I'm surprised at how much I put in the trash and, and the majority of what I recycle and I think if we all just do our part I mean we're teaching when I'm, I'm teach, we're trying to teach our own children I think we all have ownership in that and it's and it's common sense and so I think children actually begin as conservationists and begin yep. trying to really use resources well uh, and and things resonate with children I mean look at children or chasing bugs and, right. and trying to run in the grass from the time they're really little and, and really that's what this is about we don't want our state to be in 20 years just a place that's got nothing but globs of oil in it right. we want it to be a place that we can continue to be proud of and so that's what this day is about both um, coming and talking about what we're doing and what more we can do and again asking the oil industry in particular to stand up and do its part because yeah. certainly they can do a better job in Louisiana. Abs absolutely well everybody again if you're just tuning in uh, happy to be joined by Miss Ann Rolfes with the Louisiana Bucket Brigade and Liz uh, Shepard with Life City. They've got a great coming up, the fourth annual, may I say, New Orleans Earth Day Festival and Green Business Expo set for Earth Day, Sunday, April the 22nd, right at beautiful Bayou St. John. Uh, the weather is going to be fantastic. Uh, we just heard from the Weather Channel. Great, they said it's going to be great. Uh, 9 a.m. <laughs> to 7.30 p.m., uh, headlining by Cyril Neville uh, and a list of others, Stooges Brass Band, uh, Flow Tribe and uh, really a great lineup and that that starts the entertainment starts early in the morning. What it time? starts early. There's, yep. there's yoga first thing. There, there's children's activities early on. Massey's one of our great sponsors is going to be there with boats. Um, the DJ is the first music and then and then the bands get on stage. So right from the beginning you can show up and uh, have a great day. And it's going to be great, everybody. If you want more information on how you can learn about what's taking place on the fourth annual Earth Day Festival, you can go to labucketbrigade.org or you can go to nolaearthdayfest.wordpress.com for more information. So a lot of information out there. Go out and support it Sunday, April the 22nd. Uh, it's going to be great, 9 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. Bayou St. John. Great. And uh, 
I hope for great weather and I hope for a great turnout and thank you both for your your passion and, and for what you do uh, for our environment and for Louisiana more so the city greatly appreciate great. it thanks a lot thank you so much for coming yeah, by thanks for having, yeah. us. Thank you having you as well all right everybody that wraps up uh, for this segment of Cox Connections we'll see you next time and thanks for watching